Good afternoon and welcome to After the Bell. Uh, if you watch our show regularly, you will recognize that we are not Cassie and Taylor today. I'm Haley and I am here with Anita Miranda, the official lipstick reader. I'll explain why she's here in just a second. Cassie and Taylor are out of town. They are in New York City right now for Macy's Prom. They're going to be hanging out with some of our favorite stars, J.J. Hannon, Riley and Mads Lewis, and some others. And if you guys want to check what they're doing out, go to Macy's.com slash events, and you guys can get a chance to meet Riley, to meet J.J., and even to meet Cassie and Taylor. So we wish them luck. Good luck at prom, guys. We love you. We miss you. And since it's just me on the show today, I thought I would bring back one of my favorite guests, who is here maybe, was it six months ago already, do you uh, think? I know it was 2017 because I remember you're reading about 2018, so yes. I'm so glad it's you that's the host, and let's mm -hmm. chat about then and now. Definitely. I, I actually have some really good news for you since our, the last time you read my lips. Now, for those of you who don't know her, Anita is the single best lipstick reader that I think exists. She is, an, she is the only lipstick reader, frankly, I've ever met, but I trust her. Uh, for many reasons. Now, uh, Anita, you basically what you do is you have people do their kiss on a piece of paper and you read their fortunes in that. That's right? That's correct. And what we did is we made it a little easy. So what we say is how to kiss. So the first thing you're going to do... Everybody take notes. This is how to kiss. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab a bag. We went ahead and opened your bag. Okay. Okay. On your kiss card, you're going to write your first name. And so we have this right here. Okay. So sign your first name right here. Okay. Right there. All right. Haley. Second is I'm going to have you choose a color. I'm going to kind of go randomly. Okay. And then wherever your eyes lie, let me know what that number is. Okay? Okay. 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 You guys do it too, even though you guys don't get to actually kiss here. <laughs> actually, this is perfect. Why don't you all go ahead and kiss your card twice, put lipstick, kiss a card, choose your number. And if you don't get it here, go to official lipstick reader on the very end. You can actually choose your number. Next thing what we're going to do is you're going to tell me what number was that that you chose? 18. Okay. This is the best part, Haley. You okay. get to apply your lipstick. Look at this tiny little lipstick. I love this. Okay, I've got, I also have a fabulous mirror right here. Okay, I'm gonna apply this. So while she's applying that, I'm always asked, how did I step into this? And for those of you that are, you know, uh, not two parents, maybe one parent, or even living on your own, I started with this from a kiss. I also grew up ward of the court, foster child, out on my own. And what I decided to do is to do something fun and interesting. Oh, beautiful kiss. So let me go ahead and take that from you. Okay. Oh, where did the cap go? Oh, here we go. You have it. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually set up a little goodie bag for you. Go ahead and kiss twice for me, Haley. Okay. So I'm just gonna kiss on this card right here. Yes, kissing the card anyway. Okay, just yeah, <laughs> this is just my natural kiss. Okay, natural kiss All like right. a love letter. I gotta. I I don't know if I can kiss it. I like gotta pretend that I care about it. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. All right. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And what your audience can actually do is go to official lipstick reader and go to the event. Uh, tab because Haley actually has her kisses from six months ago. So you, we're going to discuss. We're gonna find there out what's different here. So one more time, we're gonna have you kiss. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So what we're looking for, Haley, is the forensics right here. Okay. And your fissures is everyone has them differently, just like your fingerprints. What we want to do is we want to find your goddess archetype. The My color. goddess archetype. Yes, yeah, the goddess archetype that she resonates with or is her protector. Why her eye was drawn to the color, her kissing style. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to find the four characteristics and dimensions. So that's okay. what we're looking for. So the first thing what we're going to see is the number 18 that you chose. So number 18 
is the blue. What the blue means for you, Haley, is that right now you're in a good place. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, blue is ocean. Blue is cleansing. Blue is uh, a lot of things that are starting over. And the color that you chose and your eye is drawn to means that you finally stepped into your ocean. You're finally stepping into where you ought to be and where you're going forth. So blue is excellent. That doesn't mean your eyes always drawn to blue. It means where you're at. Her kiss, her before and after. I'm sorry, her past. My past. <laughs> her past and her present. What I love about your kiss, about your past, is your lips are virtually closed right here. Mm -hmm. The bottom one's a little bit more um, pronounced and small. That means the stuff we talked about last time is done. It's over. So I want to give you guys a little bit of background here. The last time that Anita was at Sweetie High, I had very recently been dumped. And I was a little bit down in the I wasn't sure that I wanted to get my lips red because I wasn't really sure what the future would hold. And I was skeptical. I was skeptical. And I will say, you told me, I remember, that uh, in the new year in 2018, I would find myself in a committed relationship with someone who has dark hair and has a background in maybe math or engineering. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy because I actually am in a very committed, <laughs> loving relationship with a dark-haired engineer. Wow. Look at that. I, I literally, I, I, I told him that I was going to be coming back here today. He was like, I don't want to know what comes next in the future. <laughs> like, it's too specific. You got to keep it vague. But um, I, it works. <laughs> I don't know what she read in my lips here, but um, definitely, definitely got something out of that. Well, that's so exciting because, again, her past personal and professional, the things that you've been struggling with, right now you are in the best place, meaning that the past has come full circle. For a lot of us that are still dealing with exes or even our family or even friends, it's okay to be living and thinking about the past, but more importantly, when it's ready to close and have closure, it's time to move on. And Haley, not only have you moved on, you have not only a bright, bright future, but you ready for the other? Because I got to tell uh, you both sides. Okay, tell me the other <laughs> okay. side. What I do see with your kiss, Haley, is that your lips are still almost the same uh, closure. Mm -hmm. So what that means is you're coasting right now. You're actually you're you're basking in your joy, your love, professional things are really going your way. So I feel it's time that you do have balance. But I'm here today to shake things up. Okay. <laughs> it's time for you to take a little bit more risks. You're in a good place. Merge. Get out there. Start doing things that you've kind of been tiptoeing around because okay. it's your year. Jump into it. Let's get this kiss a little bit more open. <sighs> Romance. He's ready. He's been manifesting for you. So, boyfriend, just know that she has been manifesting you and whatever you two have decided, and we know what you're thinking about, it's that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if he's watching, but you better be. You heard it here. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. The lipstick reader said it. It's the future. You can't fight it. You can't fight it. So let's just take a little bit of characteristics really quick. Um, the other thing that I see is that you are an eager listener. What that means is you have a broad variety of interests, but you love to hear the details. For instance, I'm an Aries. Just tell me A to Z. If I'm interested, I want the middle. You're not. You're like, and then what? Oh, I need and the deeds. Yes, she wants to know the deeds <laughs> from the beginning, and it's like, well, move on. But, but, but I'm not quite finished. So that's what makes you amazing in what you do. It's the research. It's the part that you actually go into more of the detail, and that's what makes you an amazing friend and daughter because you care about what people think, not just the superficial stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the other part that I see is you're intuitively tapped into the seeds and fruits. What that means is that you enjoy nurturing your relationships. Mm. You don't jump into really anything that um, you don't feel good about, but once you're in it, the nurturing part of you is like, she's like a little cool kitten just ready to just emerge and feel love and you're there. I feel yeah. not only aura wise, but also your kiss is just say, Wow, Haley, it's your time. Oh, I feel so warm and fuzzy and nurturing. <laughs> <laughs> this is great news for me. And let's look at one more thing, and that is, um, oh, it says that you have a hunger for information. You, you mm. listen to the news, the video feeds. Um, you're always wanting to know what's next, what's next. So what I like to do is have your lips go into the what's next because it needs to be open because yeah. you're ready to step into it. 
Okay, wow. That was a lot of information about myself. It is. Now this is the fun part, is we are going to have her read out loud her little wish bracelet. Okay. It says, make a wish with a kiss. Close your eyes and make a wish. Now tie this bracelet on your wrist. When the bracelet breaks in two, the wish you wished will then come true. So oh think about your wish. Okay. okay, let me have your wrist. My boyfriend better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and think of your wish. Okay. And let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, now Haley, what I'm going to do for you is I'm giving you a gift. You know how sometimes in life you're like, I should have, I could have, or maybe I should have done a different decision? Yes. Let's move two years from now. Let's imagine that you are where you'd like to be in two years. Okay. Would the wish that you're wishing right now be the same? And if so, wish that. If not, let's move forward and let me know when you're ready. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. There you go. Look at this. It's a little kiss. Yep. And just know that I've had bracelets break immediately. I've had them break um, within here. days. Sometimes it's even been months. So, yes, she's not going to take it off. I'm not taking it off. <laughs> and when it does break and your wish does come true, what that means is pass it along and just kind of just share your love and, and uh, your awareness and the place that you're at because not only are you a mentor, but you've deserved this. You've worked very hard for it. That's so exciting. I do work hard. Thank you for <laughs> acknowledging. Alrighty, so now this is the part that's a little bit new for people that saw okay. this last time, is that we have the lipstick Ooh. pendulum. Where before what we did is we uh, drew the mystic rocks. Now we're actually going to ask the universe anything. So okay. why don't we go ahead and just do a basic yes or no question that you know you kind of know the answer. Okay. And go ahead and ask for that out loud and let me know when you're a ready. A question that I know the answer to already. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, am I going to get to go to my sister's graduation? It's moving. It's going up, down, up, down for yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so hopefully you know that you are. Yes, okay. I just found out. I want to announce to the world that my younger sister is graduating college in just a couple of weeks, and she's going to grad school, so she's officially oh. going to be the most educated of the family, but unfortunately not the funniest or the best. <laughs> uh, that would be me. Uh, but I wanted to say congratulations, Rose. Congratulations, Rose. And we next time, you. go ahead and send your lips, and let's kind of read and see where you are with your sister, okay? Yes. <laughs> All righty. So now let's go ahead and get a little more serious. Okay. And let's ask a question that you will not say out loud, but okay. something that's really deep and intimate, something that you would really like to have the answer on. And then let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. All right, looks like we're getting more up down. Looks like this is going to the yes side of things. This is definitely a yes. Okay. Now, do you see how it's a little bit lopsided this way? Yeah. So what this means is no to yes. That means it's going to take some work. It's not going to be around the corner. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely see it's a yes, but you're going to have to work for it. Okay. I think I, I, think I can deal with that. Okay. So now, do you want to ask uh, the universe so we can all hear it, yeah. and then I can interpret it for you? Anything okay. you'd like to know, please? Okay, here's something that I've really been thinking about. So I'm from New York City originally. Okay. And I've been living out here in Los Angeles for eight years now. And I always think, which of these cities am I going to end up in? Because they're both really dear to my heart. And I've been there both in both places for a long time. So I want to know, is LA going to be my home? Okay. And especially boyfriend, you want to know, right? He definitely so. wants to know. <laughs> so here we go. New York. Is New York going to be her home? We're asking New York, okay. Yes, New York. If you're from New York right now, send me a kiss to the comments. Ooh. See, it was playing with you. It's oh my gosh. Okay, wait, it started it started going up and down on yes. And I was like, okay, like looks like maybe, but now So it went definite no. Now it's going yes. So now you know it's what going this yes means? again. No, I don't know what it means. It means that you're going to have some serious um, uh, offers to go so mm -hmm. you're going to be struggling with that okay okay so now let's ask are you gonna stay in LA okay okay go ahead and ask will, um, I, will I stay in LA okay my heart is beating I want to know 
This is a definite. This looks like a yes. Yes, so this is a yes. You guys, <laughs> I'm staying. Yeah. She's staying. Yay. So what that means is first it kind of played with her, but it means that you are. You're going to have some serious offers. It's going to be dear to your heart, and you're going to struggle with that. However, your career and your family is going to be here. Are you ready for the real news? Okay. Where you're moving professionally and where I see you is you're going to be one of those jet setters. Ooh. So, you know, you all make sure that you, you talk to her now because we're going to be able to visit you in New York. You're going to visit me all over. <laughs> now, here's the question. I got it. Am I going to be able to afford first class tickets back and forth? Because that is a serious flight. Okay. Both ways. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Okay. Money, money, money. Okay. All right, my flying first class, universe. Universe. Give it to me. Okay. <laughs> this thing's gonna be like, ah. Uh, like, oh, hail to the no, but oh, there it goes, no. Maybe, maybe, can we make that a not yet, maybe? <laughs> is that like maybe, maybe eventually? You know, actually what I see is that I don't see first class, I see that you will be skirted around. Ooh, skirted. Skirted around. Okay. Um, so, I don't see a lot of jet flying. I. I I see much more for you. Mackenzie, think big. Think bigger. I'm gonna think big. I'm gonna think big. Huge. Okay. Now, um, before we let you go, we've got a video of some of the amazing people that you've gotten your kisses from, and you might look closely, you might see my last kiss when I was sad, single, and had way worse hair. You can also check out Cassie and Taylor and this and some other friends from around the office that you might recognize. Uh, when you see us, tap the hearts for likes, because, you know like me and all that stuff. <laughs> Anyways, Anita, thank you so much for coming in and reading my kiss. Thank you. Can you tell everybody how they can find out more? Oh, absolutely. So obviously, best place is Instagram. It's read your kiss. We're on every type of social media. And what we're doing is we're running a little contest. So we have women with cute heart shaped lips. What does that mean? Women with downward shaped lips like Natalie Portman. We also have Drew Barrymore and Kate Hudson. What does that mean to you? So make sure you go to officiallipstickreader.com and for those kids that really would like to talk to someone and find out what we used to remember as a mood ring, go to officiallipstickreader.com in the very bottom. Totally free. Find out your color. Find out your shade. And you all rock for prom 2018. Prom! Yay! Mwah. If you're happy and you know it, ring for kids! <laughs>